All right guys so welcome back to your channel CyberSec Live and today we are going to discuss about cyber security career path so let's start it So let's start with the agenda that what we are going to discuss in this video number 1 we have job title where to start number 3 we have skills required salary and then we'll discuss about some important certifications then tools and technology what are the tools and technologies uh, companies organization are using for cyber security and at last the very important thing is that the interview tips so don't forget uh, to watch this video till the last so let me start from the job title Number one, we have cyber security analyst. So what exactly the role of cyber security analyst? If I can say VA or cyber security analyst or you can say the SOC analyst as well. Under this, you will find VA team, you will find penetration, uh, penetration testing team and you can find uh, forensic team and as well as the threat hunting team as well. So the role is to uh, analyze, investigate, provide countermeasures, vulnerability assessment, etc. Number second, we have security engineers and their role is to perform security monitoring, security uh, data and logs analysis, forensic analysis to detect security incidents and mount incident response. Number three, we have security administrator and security administrator is one of the posts if your organization is small, then security administrator can also play the role of security analyst. So their role is to installs and manages organization wide security systems and as I said that they may also take on some of the tasks of security analyst in a smaller organizations. Number four we have security architect. Their, uh, their role is to perform designs a security system or major components of a security system and may had a security design team building a new security system. Number fifth, we have security specialist, which is a specialist or you can say the security consultant. So their role is to protecting computers, network, software, data and information system against viruses, worms, spyware, malware, intrusion detections and you can say unauthorized uh, access. At last, we have the very high level of management, you can say the CISO, the Chief Information Security Officer and their role is, you can say, this, this person is one of the very highly responsible for the entire information security, whatever the things is going on, that is di directly responsible for that person. So these are the some eight uh, job titles and I hope you make you understand and there is might be a question in your mind that you have learned a uh, penetration tester, you have learned bug bounty hunter and you have heard that about uh, you can say SOC analyst. So the number one which I already showed you the cyber security analyst all those categories fall into this one and definitely in, in the upcoming videos I will make one of the video on SOC that how uh, to become a SOC analyst. Now Number two, we have where to start. Everybody is confused in this section that actually where, I mean, there should be some, some space that you can say there is something from where every person have to start. So the thing is that you you just need a minimum graduation degree in this tech, uh, in a technical field, whether it's a BSc, computer science, whether it's BCA, whether it's BTEC, it doesn't matter. Even the BTEC, if you are a mechanical engineer, if you are a chemical engineer, not a problem, not an issue, but you should have that much knowledge. And second thing we have, uh, should have some good certification with some uh, knowledge such as knowledge of OS top 10 email investigation is very important guys and CH uh, I would recommend this one highly so and yeah so number three let's discuss about some skills required what are the skills required for a fresher so problem solving skills that should be in your uh, mind and knowledge of security across various platforms Number three, we have attention to details and communication skills. Yeah, this one is very important. At least you you should uh, you can understand the English and uh, you should able to uh, speak those things. It means the communication skill uh, should be minimum average, so that at least you can understand what what the person is saying. 
Number fifth, we have fundamental computer science or forensic basic skills and a desire to learn. Let's say, I mean, uh, in the in the field of cyber security, each and every day uh, we are we have to update ourselves because uh, you can say in every week there is something uh, inventing in this world and related to cyber security. So a desire to learn this uh, this skills you should have. And at last, there should be a, some basic understanding of hacking. Number fourth, your favorite one, the salary, how much you, you can get, what, what is the earning of any uh, analyst. So let's discuss security analyst can earn up to this. Okay, let me tell you that this is the average salary of all these things. And a security analyst can earn up to 6,50,000 similar as security engineer, security architect near about 10 lakh, security administrator 7,50,000 and chief information security officer. That is definitely high, 40 lakh near about, that's the average salary. And at last security consultant, consultant or you can say the specialist, that is 9 lakh near about. So these all are the average salary. I hope uh, uh, you may have heard that yeah, that, that person, you, you uh, one of your friend got 4.5 lakh, right? But uh, in mostly cases, you will get near about 5.5 to 6. And if you are a very good analyst, then definitely you are going uh, much high, 7.5 to 8. As a fresher, I'm telling you. Now, what are the certifications required? So, if I recommend, I would recommend CES, that is Certified Ethical Hacking Course. CCNA is one of the basic course everybody have to do. CISSP, in, in the future, once you will enter in the industry, you can do the CISSP, you can do CHFI. Uh, CompTIA Security is the basic one, so you can do at your uh, fresher level as well. OSCP is a very, one of the tough exam, you can say. So once you will enter in the organization and uh, once you will be having two years of experience, you can give this exam as well. Now, tools and technologies is very important. What are the tools and technologies the companies, the organizations are using? And you should have uh, aware about those things, right? So see, the number one, we have firewall, right? Number second, we have antivirus software. Every uh, company is using that. EDR. EDR is Endpoint Detection Response System and if you don't know about the EDR just click on that I button and definitely you will redirect it to that video there and you will get to know though know what is the difference between antivirus and EDR what is the difference between EDR and SIM tool same is that one security information and event management I have already talked about these three one antivirus EDR and uh, same so you can just click on that i, I button and you will be redirect uh, redirected to that video dlp is one of the main thing very important concept and data loss prevention an ids network based intrusion intrusion detection system everybody is using that and ips is as well intrusion prevention system interview tips so number one we have always keep remember important port numbers like let's say in your daily life you you in your daily life you are just opening your laptop you are browsing google or something else then on which port number it is going the port number is 80 or 443 then you should know the which services is running on those port numbers so definitely it is not possible to learn from 0 to 65000 of port numbers right but you have to uh, remember the important port numbers uh, which is uh, uh, you can say using which is everybody is using in, in the daily life you can say port number 21 uh, port number 25 where which is smtp port number 389 445 these are there are many uh, you can say uh, there are near about 40 to 50 ports number moreover the important port numbers are 10 uh, you can you can learn those and always check the mentioned roles and responsibilities in job profile which is mentioned by company so if you don't know what exactly uh, you are going to uh, give the interview you know you don't know the questions what type of questions they ask so the best idea is that just check the profile and there is roles and responsibilities categories in that uh, you can say in that job profile so you will have you will get an idea that yeah these are the some tools these are the some rules and responsibilities and they will definitely ask some questions from them from there 
and uh, number three we have researched common cyber security questions yeah this one is very important and you should uh, start searching uh, for example uh, let me give you an example that uh, yeah so how you can analyze uh, malware using wireshark right and number second how you can identify the bit torrent traffic these are the some some basic questions number four we have don't take the result personally yeah this one is very important guys and never take the results personally and if you uh, okay if you are not able to clear the first round it's okay just keep applying you know uh, searching uh, searching a job is also a job so if you are doing a job for nine hours so let me tell you guys do if you if you don't have that job if you don't have any job then just spend your nine hours just for searching those jobs whatever the jobs you are interested whether it's penetration testing whether it's va or anything else right so you can in this way you can uh, you will get the job easily and you will be having much uh, higher chances of selection at last we have you should know your resume so whatever you are mentioning in your resume you should know those things if you're mentioning wireshark you should be aware about those Wireshark that what is Wireshark and why we use Wireshark. So these are the some interview tips. I hope uh, you like that. And if you like that guys, uh, then you can support us. You can follow us. You can uh, share this video. You can follow us uh, CyberSec Live on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. And you can yeah subscribe the channel please. Okay. Bye bye. Take care.